Welcome to Action Points! Alan Gardner, you sir are a knight in shining armour. Thanks for supporting the Esoteric Order of Gamers. Greetings fellow members of the Esoteric Order of Gamers and welcome to another episode of Action Points. Now I'm going to go through this really quickly this month because I'm really behind. I've spent the whole month painting figures and painting scenery and um, I want to get this out uh, pretty quickly because this is for August and we're already in September. So the first thing is, what has Universal Head been playing? Well, it's all been painting, painting, painting in August, all of it Games Workshop stuff. Heaps of painting. In fact, I did so much painting, I almost made myself ill. I've hurt my neck and I'm just sore and my throat's scratchy and uh, just too much time going like this. Ugh. So remember, when you're painting, always take lots of breaks. I always forget, I get stuck in the same position for hours, and then I stand up and go, oh, yeah. So here are some of the things I've painted. I painted up the terrain for Kill Team by Games Workshop. Also, this thing here, the Sigmarite Mausoleum from Games Workshop, which is a lovely terrain piece that'll be great for matching with my uh, ghosts from Age of Sigma. I've also been painting a few extra ghost figures for Age of Sigma. Uh, the spirit hosts, the Khan Wraith, and some Hex Wraiths. As for gaming, I bought a few new things, some expansions, two expansions for the Conan game. Um, two extra expansion sets for Star Trek Ascendancy because I really enjoy that game. I've got the Ferengi and Cardassian expansions. As for playing, not too much, but I got an inner game of Chaos in the Old World, which is a great um, area control game by Eric M. Lang. Also managed to play Magic the Gathering for the first time ever. Yes, I never played Magic the Gathering when it was popular. I was going through a period where I wasn't really playing any games at all. So I kind of missed out on that whole thing and I played it and really enjoyed it. It's a good game, but it's interesting to see how many people have borrowed its basic mechanics and applied them to later games. I also got a chance to play Magic the Gathering Arena of the Planeswalkers, which is pretty much the sequel to HeroScape, except without the gorgeous terrain. Still, it is a fun game because it takes the gameplay from HeroScape and adds spell cards as well. So what's been happening in the world of gaming? Well, of course, Gen Con was on in August and there were some new announcements and lots of interesting things going on. Fantasy Flight Games had a couple of interesting announcements. Arkham Horror is getting a complete revamp for a third edition of that game. Also, they announced Keyforge, a card game by Richard Garfield, the maker of Magic, The Gathering and Netrunner. Um, the interesting thing about Keyforge is that each set is going to be unique. Yes, Fantasy Flight has come up with some interesting technology allowing them to print out unique sets. They're also using the same technique for a board game, which is going to be called Discover Lands Unknown. Though I'm not sure whether the idea of applying unique sets to board games is such a great idea. It'll be interesting to see how people welcome that innovation. Because I've been doing so much Games Workshop stuff lately, it's interesting to also learn that they doubled their pre-tax profits. Is something in the realm of 74.5 million pounds. Um, the resurgence of Games Workshop is certainly proceeding apace. They've been churning out lots of new games. Unfortunately, Adeptus Titanicus, the giant robot one, came out and it was so outrageously expensive I had to completely give it a miss. But I am enjoying Age of Sigma and Kill Team. There's another one called Speed Freaks coming on the way, which looks like the spiritual successor to the old Gorka Morka game. Um, there's also a new Warhammer Quest game coming out set in the Warhammer 40k universe. It's going to be called Blackstone Fortress. Another interesting one is Plaid Hat Games Gen 7. This is using the same crossroads system that uh, Dead of Winter used except it's set on a generational ship flying through space. Looks interesting. Dead of Winter has always slightly disappointed me. It's got all the ingredients for a great game, but it never seems to really come together for me. So I'm hoping that Gen 7 has that special something that makes it really exceptional. 
And finally, Esoteric Order of Gamers News. Nothing new this month. I'm just ticking away, getting as much churned out as I can for you to enjoy. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing in September. There's no special branding for the month, but I'll probably go back and do some of the rules summaries that I've neglected. And uh, rest assured, it'll be all useful and enjoyable gaming content for you. Next month, Will is coming out again, so I'll be getting some more battle reports filmed in October. In the meantime, of course, you know where to find me. I'm on all the social media. I'm on the website, orderofgamers.com. We've got a Patreon page. I'd really appreciate it if you could spare a few bucks from your gaming budget and send it my way so I can keep making great content for you. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.